Have you been to California? Seen the sights and people there? Well, yes, we have arrived here. Mikey, what do you think of the trip? Did you like that? It was an experience. It was an experience, yes. And so here we are at Welcome to the Dutch Flat RV Resort. And we heard there was like a bit of a rough road going in. Well, Grace, what do you think? Google-wide. Yes, our directions um, that we put into Google to get to, what was it, 5 or 55 Canyon Creek Way? Not so very good. So we got a beautiful road here, and um, although, although it's quite exciting is what I would call it. What's your uh, prognosis on this road here, darling? No. <laughs> well, at least you were able to get turned around, and I'm really, really thankful for that, because I wouldn't want to have been stuck at the Y where it said 55 Canyon Creek was, because it wasn't there. Yeah, it said 1.2 miles, and we knew that coming in here was supposed to be a bit of a, um, a rough road. So we thought, well, yeah, we agree. This is a bit of a rough road. And then um, after a 1.2 mile, we were gifted to have essentially a fork at the road. One way was about a, I don't know what degree grade, but one you won't get any RV up there. One, one way was do not enter, and the other one was do not Private enter. property. <laughs> it's like, you're going the wrong way, buddy. So we're going back. 1.2 miles of sheer happiness and um, at least we don't have to do it tomorrow because this bridge that you're going to see coming up ahead is well what can I say you got to say a couple of prayers before you go across <laughs> it does say you can go across with up to 40,000 pounds I wouldn't recommend it <laughs> made me want to diet <laughs> really we almost lost our two passengers in the back. They wanted to walk. <laughs> I wanted to walk with them. <laughs> I thought we could stop and flip a coin to see who has to drive it up. Love me. Well, we went running. up this road. I hope I better put it in first gear, I yeah. suppose. Like oh, that. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully there's no other Pendejo RV drivers here. <laughs> or any drivers, period. You know all First. The big one. <laughs> they say that when you have an RV and you're out on the road, it's sort of like you're in an earthquake, about a five or six earthquake. I think this was more like an earthquake. Yeah, this is like the Japanese earthquake here. <laughs> Up to an eight on the Richter scale. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. This might get edited. Really bad if you had a hemorrhoid. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, no, I was going to say, what's, how, how do we think things are looking in the refrigerator is what I was oh, thinking. Oh, I know. Yeah, we're probably going to have a mulligan too. Everything's going to be all well mixed together. Oh, no. Oh, that. <sighs> how do you like your drinks, darling? Shaken but not stirred. Yeah, right now, <laughs> just poured. Vodka martini? Shaken, not stirred. Catch me if you can. Well, there was one redeeming bit of good news, and that was that even back there are 1.2 miles of steep, steep roads and hills. We did have cell service back there, so we were able to call the RV resort and say, what happened? Yeah. And it, apparently it, the... Um, they say don't don't follow GPSs or you too will be one of the suckers. Yes, and the sad part is Michael and I just got done listening to Technomatic. Is that right, Hank? Technomadia. Technomadia. And they recommended having two to three multiple sources of information. So as we talked about before, we haven't been trusting the Garmin too much. So we kind of didn't use that but we use Google, and we probably should have had the Garmin going, Google going, and Yahoo, who knows, some other map service, MapQuest. When all else fails, look at the Yelp reviews, Yeah. and um, maybe fill some in for the next people too. Definitely, we'll give them a video too, what not to do. And I'll not surprised if maybe 
an application like Allstays, A-L-S-T-A-Y-S, or others, if we looked at their notes, yeah. we might have found something there. Exactly. So, that's what happens when you're the newbies. When all the world is spinning I think my granddad's enjoying it though. He's got a big smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Even in first gear, I'm riding the brakes all the way down because I don't want to. That blind turn, that means close your eyes before you make the turn. I can find Okay, I think we have that um, bridge coming up pretty soon. Do you have the um, big mistake eraser? <laughs> no, we're not going to have that yet. We're going to have nothing but positive vibes going across this. Bridge certified for 40,000 axle capacity. Wow. Stop. No, I'm fine. I'm just going to get a little bit straighter angle here on it. Funny how quiet it is when everyone draws on the bridge. I mean, it's only 20 feet down on the rock underneath. <laughs> okay. Your father has been cutting see this much in a long time. It's like the airplane when there starts to be turbulence and everybody gets really quiet and they start holding hands and they look at the other person and they're like, I love you. Catch me. I'm more thinking about when you get these like 10 degree grades above is that well, how's it going to do? Is it going to make it up? And you can hear that the turbocharger just had to kick in to get us up because we were starting to lug down. I think the wind of our forefathers is speaking to us, saying, do not make mistakes again, Grasshopper. What do you think? Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's telling me just grip it and rip it. <laughs> Okay, good. Perfect spot. Lord, that was a blessing in itself. Was that not a blessing? If we're going to see another vehicle, we saw it at the perfect spot. Oh, 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 I see city land. City land. It looks like a city to me. It's got pavement. I see pavement. And a highway patrol. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe that. There we go. Welcome Dutch Flat RV Resort. Cool rec room. Is there a church? Huh? Mikey, what do you think of the trip? Did you like that? It was an experience. It was an experience, yes. And so here we are at Welcome to the Dutch Flat RV Resort. And we heard there was like a bit of a rough road going in. Well, not the mile that we took. And it's not bad at all. So it's right here by the 76 station. And uh, I guess it's a truck stop, actually, which is good for us RVers. So what do you think, Grace? I think that when they described a rough road, that they had no room to talk unless they went down the route we went to. So Yelp reviewers, be sure when you're leaving comments that they're accurate. Otherwise, you misdirect people. Something like that. Been there on that t-shirt. So we are going to go take a, um, a nice hike down through the campground, and I guess um, Let's go take a look at it. See you there. Well, out on a walk and here is the famous, or some might think infamous bridge, certified for 40,000 axle capacity loads, according to the Fallon Engineering Company. And um, yeah, we made it across, as you can see. <laughs> it's not much of a rail on the side of it here. What do you think, Kaliki? Uh, he says, I see water is all I see. He says, I want to go down and get in the water. Okay. Show us the way. 
Great place for pictures, isn't it, darling? Yes. Well, and always, there's Kaliki. The water boy. <laughs> you having a good time? So the young men are looking for some gold. They're panning. Looking for a little bit of specks of color there. I'm gonna give you a pile, okay? Okay. Right here, here's one. Ready? Right. Put some water in it. Come here, son. Need a good hand a little bit. Put some water in it. Hold on. That's it. You got it? You gotta shake it. No. Mikey, what was your favorite thing to do? You already know what it is. Um, playing game. Mm -hmm. Going dinner, on dinner, Gigi's dinner. You like the lasagna that you didn't eat? No. Hey. The, the pancakes. No. Not. Was it anything to do with eating? No. Okay. How about the tent when a rain came down? No. Nope. I didn't think that would be it. How about um? Dumping the gray and black water. Oh, you like no. that? Not that. Hmm. I give up. What was it? The bumpy ride. Yeah, I thought maybe, but I didn't want to say it. That was awesome. What did you say that was? An adventure? It, no. it was all. It was an experience. An experience. An experience. I mean, it was almost when you think about it, like a roller coaster ride. Maybe even more so. Because a roller coaster ride, you assume everything's going to go okay. This one, you know, goodness knows with this wild driver, what's going to happen? Seen the sights and people there Walked the streets of sleepy sea towns Tasted salty ocean air